Hey everyone, it's Isaiah and this is one of my 10 minutes tech tutorials. So today, um, due to popular demand, <laughs> I am doing a tutorial on how to use Trello, uh, which is an, an amazing software, to plan your social media content. So the question is, how do we... So most of us, we have a social media scheduler, right? Something that will uh, post for us because we have a life and a business to run. Uh, but uh, before um, scheduling, we need to plan, we need to organize and decide what post is going on which social media at what time, at what frequency, blah, blah, blah. So as far as I'm concerned, I use Trello uh, to do that. I use the free version of Trello, but you can um, use anything. I'm going to show you my way of doing it. Obviously, it's not the way, it's one way. And it works for me. So uh, if you're interested, without further ado, let's jump in. But before I actually jump in and show you my screen, I want to specify that um, the first thing that I have decided for myself and that works for my business is that I'm posting um, different things on different days of the weeks of the week. So my um, first thing is about uh, organizing uh, everything in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? So the way I work, I first create the graphics. I use Canva, uh, which I love. Um, and I do have the paying version for that one. Um, although I'm not an affiliate anymore because I don't make enough money for them. So anyway, uh, but please use Canva. It's amazing. So I create all my graphics and I have them in a folder. So um, here, if I open this folder, you can see I have graphics by day, right? So if I open the Monday, I will have the various files uh, that have the various uh, images or graphics that I want, I intend to use on a Monday. So for me, I work with the eight Greek goddesses archetypes. So every day is one day for each goddess. And so I have uh, plans to share. So for instance, Tuesday is Demeter day. So you see that I have Demeter, I have things about creativity, because Demeter is the goddess of creativity, etc, etc. So that's the basis. First, I create everything on Canva. Then I download everything here. And I have my graphics ready, right? Then I uh, open my Trello board. So this is my an old one, obviously. I change them monthly uh, or, or, by my, or every two or three months uh, when I get bored, basically, with my own content. So I change something. So I have the lists are every day of the week. And I also have a couple of lists at the beginning, which is ideas and archives. So things that I don't want anymore to use, I will take and move. And that's the great thing with Trello is that you can move the cards very easily, right? So they can go from one day to another, uh, or they can go to the archive if I'm not going to use them this particular month. And then I have the, each card is a type of post. So I would have the, the time, um, the name or the type of the post, uh, and then uh, I'm going to open this one so you can have a look. So I have I use the labels very much. So I created labels for each uh, social media platform that I have an account in. And I, I remember the colors and I love the co using the colors. Uh, and even if you don't, there you have the various things, the various platforms where I'm going to share this particular post at 11.11. I love um, magic hours and magic numbers. So most of my posting happens at 11, 11, 12, 12, etc, etc. Uh, I have a not this month uh, label and a prep, which means I need to be working on that one. It's not ready to go. Now, uh, I can add dates also. So decide um, when uh, is the start date or the due date for any of those posts. And in the description of the post, I have the hashtags, so um, if I need specific hashtags, and or the text. So this is where I write the text that is going to go with the picture. As you can see, I have several images here. So these are the images that I'm going to be sharing that uh, go with iWalk, right? So I, I upload the images by, as attachments. So um, I can choose a file from my computer again. So we're going to go 
and do um sorry we're gonna go and find in the promo graphics in the buffer thingy so sorry uh so let's say we're monday so let's say i want to download this one and voila it will have it will appear very soon hopefully or not i don't know what's happening <laughs> Oh, there it is. Um, so one thing that might happen is you can make that a cover for your um, little card on Trello. I don't like that because it gets confusing, but you can if you want. So that would have present itself like this. So you'd have the image, the whole image there. Uh, I don't like it, so I don't use that. But, you know, it's your choice to do or not do that. So, yeah, I love using um, that because it's so easy to move things around. It's much easier to me than moving a spreadsheet and all the information can be there. So the title of the post or the, the genre, if you want, of the post, which platform am I going to share on? What do I need to do? Uh, what is the text or the content that is going below or above the image uh, and the images themselves? There's also um, a place here to write a comment. So I would, I would maybe write, uh, do this or do that. Uh, the great thing for me is that I can also make that a template. So uh, copy and paste, basically. <laughs> uh, I can share the whole thing with somebody. I can also share the whole board with somebody. So i.e. my assistant, if I had one or when I'm going to have one. Uh, basically, she um, they could go in there and find every information and just do the scheduling for me. So I just fill this up and then somebody else can move and do the scheduling, the actual scheduling, just copy and paste from here. Right. So that's what I, I like about it. Um, sometimes. So this is an old one. I've not. Um, it's not complete or it's been um, not treated like this. I'm not sharing my actual one. But so, yeah, this is the gist of it. Um, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, so by, by making other members here, I could share with, if I'm doing a collaboration or something, I could have my um, collaborators uh, give access to my collaborators. I could also make a checklist so of what needs to be done around this particular post etc etc i and you you can have the ability to create custom fields so you can add numbers whatever you know um if you want to track your um content you can also use it here you can um basically do pretty much anything uh, on trello it's really um uh, very uh, easy I, I like this you see i like the moving things around that is and I like the general view, so you can have a view. Uh, well, it's, it's a little big like this, but I could make it smaller to see, you know, what kind of post is going where. And with the colors, it's like, okay, is there enough red? So am I sharing enough on the red is Facebook? Yeah. Um, am I sharing enough on Facebook? As you can see from here that definitely I was not this, <laughs> this particular week, but I think I never used that. I changed to another one because uh, it was too much posting as you see here i have i think six posts every day uh, nowadays i post once to, or twice a day uh because because i'm i'm i can't be bothered basically uh but if you're going for a big posting thing this would help you out to have everything visible and everything movable um you know uh very easily from one column to the other, from one day to the other. Now, if you're not using the days of the week, you could also use that method with 10 days or a month, a whole month of posts and have uh, a spread that would say that. So that's the way I use Trello to plan my content. Uh, maybe you want, you want to try and give it a try. If I can help more, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe and like the video um, and like, yeah, give me a thumbs up because that's always good for my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.